team welcome to another video if this is your first time watching these videos which are also new then welcome to the art team i really hope that you enjoy them this is doing being becoming where we aim to inform impact influence and inspire in today's video we are going to be doing some reflection and i'm going to be reflecting on three things that i learned in varsity Obviously, there are a lot more things, but these are three things that I believe can be translated into other areas of our lives. And the context within which we will be reflecting today is within Kolb's learning experience, experiential learning cycle. Um, Kolb's, Kolb, Kolb was uh, a philosopher and also an educational theorist who was all about social change a career development and the individual and he published this model in 1984 there's also a holistic perspective which looks at cognition behavior perception and also experience um, it can be broken down into four stages which stage one is the concrete experience and this is actually where the person is living out this new experience stage two is um reflective observation where the person has personal reflection stage three is abstract conceptualization where the person has new ideas that come from um the reflection that they just did or um they modify their already existing um abstract concepts and stage four is active experimentation where you see if these new abstract ways of thinking actually fit into the world so you basically put them to practice and this is a cycle obviously so it goes on and on and it continues and you continue to change or modify the way that you are thinking so uh let's go straight into my reflections and what varsity taught me uh the first thing that varsity taught me is that the how or the way isn't always clear or obvious from the start so when i went into varsity i knew that i wanted to study at Stellenbosch university um but what i wanted to do i didn't know all i knew was that i wanted to be in the motherland and i went to the motherland um and yeah the so like obviously um more like a lot of people you know you don't just wake up and be like oh i want an education today so obviously like the money for that isn't always like there um so i went into Stellenbosch university not fully funded um i was fortunate enough to have a recruitment bursary so my tuition fees were paid for but everything else i kind of had to find a way of how to you know um, pay for that like many of other students also on the tuition bursary so accommodation food textbooks I need key. Oh, hold on. I need key. All those things <laughs> were not <laughs> um, paid for. So obviously, I have to be, you know, quite thrifty about, you know, how I use my internet, about how I eat, about PDFs and copying books instead of like buying books and all of that. Um, yeah. So you know, and then years go by, and then you get like ten thousand rand subsidies. You're like, ah, thanks, thanks, Department of Health. Ah, okay. Ah. Um, so, so the, that was, that's how it went. Um, and then, you know, also, obviously you have to worry, you're like, oh my gosh, like, how am I going to pay for these, you know, like, um, and then you think like, uh, you know, the stuff that you want, but you know, because you can't really get them. Um, but then after a while, I'm just like, you know, it's, you know, it's like, God would not have brought me here if he didn't have a plan, you know? Because God knows. Well, 24, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and the future. So I'm like, Jesus, yeah, is the hope that I have. Is that you have brought me here. So you and I brought me here if, you know, if you're not going to carry me through this. So I was like, you know what? Today I am here. Tomorrow I don't know what's going to happen. But I knew that I was going to finish. I don't know how I was going to finish. But I knew at the end of the day, this is a way I occupation of therapist. So after that, I was just like, you know, I'm not going to worry. It's not worth worrying. Then third year into fourth year, Jiggy Jiggy, girl gets an email. 
I still remember the day I was walking out of Roland's with my sister and my mom and I get an email I'm like oh you've been awarded a bursary huh I'm like ah me me you know what I'm saying so yeah and then I just like got a full bursary right towards the end of my studies and I was just like whoa you know imagine like, all that time that it was I would have spent worrying about something that you know I couldn't change because you know you apply for these pursuits and they don't get back to you or can you you know it's just a no so I was like you know that's what I was worrying about then next thing I get a bursary I didn't even apply for and I was just like wow I'm blessed <laughs> better than blessed so yeah that that became my how even though day one I didn't know how how things are going to work out but in the end they worked out so all of a sudden now i'm able to buy textbooks now you know i get monthly stipends so i can actually buy the food that i want to eat you know so you know things started to turn around i was just like wow trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding you know there's so many lessons that actually really came from that and that will like always ultimately be my testimony so yes there was lesson number one for me is that the how is not always obvious from the start but that doesn't mean don't go into it because imagine had i just been like you know it's enough i said let me just stay behind because every single rank is not accounted for so i don't know no sometimes it's just actually all the time you need to have faith that things are going to work out so even nelson mandela said it he's like it always seems impossible until it is done. So whichever way you look at it, you need to have faith. Um, you need to have faith. It is going to work out. So the second lesson that I learned was know thyself. Know thyself. No. <laughs> I can say it 20,000 times. Know thyself. Because in Dagabo, well, you really need to know yourself in that place. Because there are so many winds, there are so many currents, there are so many waves that are just blowing and moving, that if you don't know yourself, you will find yourself in streams, rivers, and pools that you had no intention of swimming in. But because you had no directionality for your own life, now you're in places that you don't even know how to get out of. That's a bit tense. Um, so you need to know yourself. You need to know what you stand for. You need to know what you stand against. You need to know your goals, where you're going, how you're going to get there, more or less. Um, yeah, so that like when things come towards you that are not in line with where you want to go or what you want to do, you can be like, not today, Satan, you know. So knowing yourself is very, very important because it also helps you determine the crowds that you find yourself around. Because there are like so many different kinds of people there. And if you have no intention with your own life, you will find yourself in the wrong bag of chips. So you need to know yourself. Um, whichever way I say it, you need to know yourself. Yeah. So know thyself. And the third um, lesson, which sort of plays into this, the, the second one, is um, it is our own pace or race kind of game out there, you know. Um, even if you guys are in the same class and are essentially working towards the same thing or the same degree, um, working towards the same degree to a degree okay <laughs> okay um you need to understand that first of all you didn't all get here the same way you know you all come from different backgrounds um yeah you didn't have the same apa score coming here you know maybe some came through extended degree program maybe some came after the third attempt to applying maybe others had to do a bsc first maybe someone just was like oh actually i don't want to study but you know because they were smart enough their brother was able to apply for them and they got in maybe they don't want to be here you know so yeah and you maybe you all have different ideas of like where you want to go with this degree or with this course you know so it's very important to remember that even though you may find yourself in the same circumstance but your realities are different some may be able to finish within the what record time 
don't know whose record it is maybe some are able to finish within the record time maybe some may need more time to finish you know so um it's very important to remember that you may all seem like you in the same place but your realities are different and we all need to stay true to our different realities you know my realities will make me behave a different way to how your realities behave or make you behave so um don't be intimidated by the person you see walking into class every day holding a vita cup and having a cheese and mayo croissant every day that's their reality your reality is different you know maybe you will need to fast during lunch to be able to make your food um, last you the whole month you know so those are different realities that we face in varsity and we need to stay true to those you know um, yeah because really gay we are not dealt the same cards in life and we need to play well at the end of the day you need to choose well you need to make wise choices that are good for you and not be pressured by somebody else whether they verbalize that pressure or whether you internalize it so um, that's very important own pace own race um, and the fourth one that I'm just going to throw in there for free is that mental health matters it is the most important thing that you know we don't place value on we get so caught up in chasing the dream and in you know in realizing what we actually came for that we sacrifice and compromise ourselves we go weeks on end without sleep we don't feed ourselves right we don't feed ourselves the proper food we don't hydrate we don't give ourselves the right breaks we don't meditate all those things and rituals that are important for our mental health and we neglect them all because of this thing that you're trying to attain and once you've attained this thing what's the point because you don't even have the strength to exercise and enjoy that to which you work so hard to attain so um i know it's quite tough it's tough it's tough the in the schooling world but we need to remember that our health and our mental health takes precedence over everything if you feel like you need a break take that break if you feel like you know today actually it's a no from me then then do that you know we all have different mental strengths or endurances we all have different health care needs and we need to listen to ourselves we need to listen to our bodies we need to listen to what our body is trying to tell us you know um because when it actually takes action for you, it might be too late. So, yes, those are the four lessons that uh, Varsity has taught me primarily. And, yeah, they transcend even through or past those, those years. I'm going to write a blog about this as well. Um, I'll put the link of the blog site below so you'll be able to find the blog there. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you have received something from it. Um, so if there's anything that you resonated with, please comment down below. If there's any other lesson that you are being taught or what it has taught you or life in general, then also please comment down below. Um, please share this video and let your friends and everybody else know that we are really out here trying to help each other do be and become. OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT. I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray.